I'm still doing a little experiment with this big coil on this Equinox 800. I've got park one and two set up, speed five, sensitivity is 20. And I've got this uh, barber dime, I'll let you see it here. Okay, it's down in there and it's crushed up on edge in, in this crack right here, okay? Let me see that. And I've got this nail here. I'm gonna show you something here now. This is speed five. Now this dime is, this detector is blinded for, for all practical purposes in most directions trying to pick this dime up, okay? In park one and park two, and I'm not gonna run through it all to show you, okay? Even coming from over here. But here's where it gets it, okay? All right. Now it's a getting it. Now that's park one. Okay. There's only one problem with this though. If you watch that meter, okay? She's hanging up on like 19 and 20, and 20, you know, is where them old aluminum twist caps come in, okay? Now, that's part one. Here's part two. It rings up even lower. It's coming in 17, 16, okay? And you know what those things are with this machine. If you don't, they're usually junk targets, okay? It could be gold, but a lot of junk aluminum tabs and bigger tabs and stuff like that off them old tomato juice cans. Okay, I'll go back to part one here. Okay, now I'm still sweeping and I'm getting a tone here. You might see that meter right there. Okay, now I'm just going to remove the nail and watch what happens. Now, see, now remember that dime is on edge, so I'm not going to get no. I'm getting. I'm not getting much there. I have to get off on the side of it. Look at that meter. Okay, so she's reading 23, 24. Now that's a worn dime. It's reading lower than what a dime should. I put the nail back. So if you're out in these sites and you're hunting old sites mixed with modern trash, you got to watch it. You know, this, this call will sound off on some stuff, but you may be a thinking you're going to dig an old aluminum twist cap, and it could be like that one right there. It could be an old Warren Burke dime or something even better. Using this old big coal. This is uh, out of a, you know, out of the plane testing. You know, I'm going to nail uh, two by four with a height of a, height of a, you know, a two by four there with a nail. And this old Merc dime. Now, again, if I come over here, I do get some signal. But still speed five and park one. But now you get fooled with that, you wouldn't know what it was probably. Okay. Now you come over here. If you come over the nail and the coin, they're sort of center between them. You, you don't get much. But again, when you get back here. Okay. But the ID is low again. It's reading just... Warren Burke Dime will air test around 24, but I'm getting 20 in the meter generally, okay? Same goes when this part of the call here is over. So if you hear something sort of strange, you know, maybe a little high with this, with this call and it's not really coming in, let's just say it's not up in like, you like higher conductors to read, Keep moving that coil around. Increase your radius and your direction, and you might, you might get on that right there. Okay, you might hear one. I mean, especially if you're trying to do select digging. Sort of strange how these. This I don't think the uh, E track works like this. It's almost like this thing is a seeing out this way. It's seeing down too, but it's a seeing out. And I don't, some people may think maybe that's a disadvantage around iron, and maybe it is, but it could be an advantage too if a lot of the other machines are not working this way. Some people may be a wondering watching this last few videos about speed setting using this big coal. Uh, I've got the little coal, I've got the stock coal, and I've got this old big coal. It's my opinion now, I'm no engineer, nothing like that, but this detector right here programming on it was broke for the stock call. And what I mean by that is, is there's not as much to be gained with a speed setting. 
as far as trying to, you know, get a target maybe out of iron, heavy mask. The stock coil, you get more of a variance, meaning you'll see the effects of the speed setting more so than you will the small coil than this big coil. And this big coil likes to be run, seems like no higher than speed five. Speed five and four, maybe, maybe in milder ground, even lower, three, two. I don't think I should run it here in my soil that way. Stock coil, I can generally run down to about four. It gets tricky though on some signals. You gotta watch your call speed. Now the small call, I usually just run it on five and six, depending on the size.